There have always been tensions between whistleblowers who leaked to the press and government officials determined to protect secrets. This was a major battleground during the Bush administration and has been heating up again under President Obama. And as the new documentary, The War on Whistleblowers, makes clear, many journalists are concerned. One of the reasons that so much classified information leaks out is that there is so much classified information. But a spy is not a mid-level bureaucrat who notices tens of millions of dollars going down a rat hole somewhere and after notifying his superiors and getting nowhere, eventually drops a dime and calls a newspaper. That's a whistleblower, that's not a spy. I had to fly across the country and meet people in sort of unmarked hotel rooms in order to try to get the details of that story. And it does not feel kind of like um, America, land of the free press. And joining us now for his first TV interview about the film, Robert Greenwald, founder and director of Brave New Films and the producer of War on Whistleblowers, Free Press, and the National Security State. Thanks for coming in. What you don't demonstrate in this documentary, it seems to me, is that journalists are getting fewer sources, for, uh, fewer stories from confidential sources as a result of what you describe as a war. That's absolutely correct. We weren't able to uh, follow through on everything, but we hope by having these incredible journalists speak out and call attention to the fact that literally the Espionage Act is being used against whistleblowers. Calling whistleblowers spies is really, in many ways, beyond the pale of anything we've seen from any other administration. Now, you're a liberal. There's no secret about that. You come from things from a left-wing point of view. But you are disappointed, I think the film clearly suggests, in President Obama for ramping up prosecutions in this area. President Obama is doing a terrible disservice to democracy, to free speech, and to the power and importance of both whistleblowers and journalists. And as Jane Mayer and Dana Priest say, and many others in the film, he's gotten too close to the CIA. And the national security state, as we know, is an enormous, powerful entity. The film tries to connect those dots and show this is not an accident. Should government be able to keep some classified secrets? Yeah, that's not an argument. No sane person is going dis is to disagree with that. But that's not what's happening here. What's happening is of 1.7 billion emails every day are listened to by the national security state. Six whistleblowers are being charged under Espionage Act. People are, homes are being broken into with guns drawn by the FBI. As Risen says, we can't have a democracy without a strong free press. That would be James Risen of the New York Times? Yes. Uh, but you know, not every whistleblower in every case has pure motives. And the net effect I get from watching this film is you tend to paint them all as heroes. Not every whistleblower does have pure motives, but in the national security arena, these people are really heroic. They're speaking up, they have nothing to gain, and they're protecting us against fraud, abuse, and actually with Franz Geil are literally our safety, saving lives in Iraq by exposing the issue around the MRAPs. Now, some of these are success stories. For example, the leak to the New York Times about the uh, domestic surveillance efforts during the Bush administration um, did shine a spotlight on that and put it up for public debate. Vice President Cheney criticized the leak. Uh, but in other cases, I guess people have faced jail or in some cases been able to uh, defeat prosecution, as in Thomas Drake, the guy who leaked some classified material to the Baltimore Sun. So it's a mixed record. Well, it's a mixed record depending on how you evaluate it. These people, every single one of them, are paying a personal price, a deep personal price, career, money, family, safety. And on the other hand, how are they able to impact? Are they able to make a change? And what was wonderful discovery for me in doing the film was every single whistleblower ran up against a brick wall. How did they get around it? They went to the press. So in many ways, it's a reminder of how important investigative press is. But as you know, Robert Greenwald, there are those who say that by whether it's legal or not legal, that when journalists accept classified information, when journalists expose what uh, many administrations would regard as national security secrets, that they are doing a disservice to the country, that they are putting the scoop ahead of the country's interests. Well, first of all, it's not classified information. Over and over Sometimes again. Sometimes it is. Not in, this, not in the movie. The, these, the Obama administration overreached in these cases. Well, you're disputing they, the classification. When the, and, the, and the courts have approved the fact that it, is, and it was not classified information in those cases. And I think that's an important distinction. Clearly, there's also a whole issue of overclassification. But I think when it comes down to it and balance, when we have a national security state that is, you know, buildings three times bigger than the Pentagon, over 10,000 locations, I think all, most sane Americans, left, right, or middle, would argue, 
our freedom is more important. That freedom is being challenged by the crackdown. Well, this is obviously a balance that has to be struck. I've got half a minute. Have journalists who are not supposed to take a stand on issues, but obviously have a vested interest in being able to get information the government doesn't want out. Have they been too docile? about these whistleblower prosecutions? Well, I'm not going to criticize investigative journalists. What I hope the film does is provide a vehicle for their voices, for them to come forward, and for us to respect and say, here are some wonderful journalists, some great whistleblowers. They're an important combination. Let's stop the Obama administration from silencing and shutting them up. Well, nobody can say you don't have a strong point of view, and the film reflects that. Robert Greenwald, thanks very much for talking to us. My pleasure. About this movie.